Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at the process of installing Unreal Engine on a PC. Uh, you'll note that this recording has screen captures from a Mac. Uh, don't worry about that, this is the PC video, you're in the right place. So everything we'll cover in here is just for PC users. Let's get started. The first thing to set up with Epic is a free account using an email. You can click on the sign in button to open up the sign in window. And if you don't have an account already, you can scroll to the bottom and use the Create Account button. I'm just going to go ahead and add my credentials to log in. Once I'm logged in, I can click the Download button, and this is going to download the installer for the Epic Launcher. Use the downloaded file to install the Epic Launcher, and then once that's ready, go ahead and run the Epic Launcher. You'll be prompted to log in with your Epic account, and then land on this Epic Games page inside Launcher. Instead of games, we want to work with Unreal Engine, so we'll click on the Unreal Engine page. And if we want to avoid going into the game page in the future, we can click on the Settings button, check on the Hide Games Library, accept that change, and from now on, after we exit Settings, we'll always land on this Unreal Engine page instead of the Games page. Moving on, we'll click on the Library tab. Here, we can either click Install Engine or use this plus button and then click Install to get to our installation options. I'm going to accept the default installation paths, but before I click the Install button, I want to go to Options. This will give me the opportunity to choose which parts of Unreal get installed, and I'm going to uncheck Engine Source. This should save us about 340 megs of installation files, and so with that set, I'll leave everything else by default and click Apply. Finally, hitting Install will begin the installation process. To get a more detailed view of what's going on during the installation, I can go here to the Downloads button in the lower left-hand corner. This will give me a more detailed set of indications as to what's going on during the installation process. My installation took about 20 minutes. Once it's completed, I'm going to hide the Downloads Tasks window and launch Unreal Engine for the first time. You can expect Unreal Engine to take several minutes to launch, it will also ask for permission for network connections. I'm going to go ahead and allow that. And finally, you'll land on this window where you can create your first Unreal Engine project. Since I work in virtual production, I'm going to go ahead and click on Film, Video, and Live Events. Except the blank project, I'll keep the defaults of no starter content and no ray tracing. And I'll also keep the default location and default project name of my project. At this point, I'm ready to click Create. Unreal is going to take about a minute or so to build out the first project for you, and then you'll land on this blank level. Don't worry about any of the windows that appear in this lower right hand corner. You can go ahead and click Dismiss and Update. So now that we have our project, let's see if we can optimize performance. First, I'm going to this upper left hand menu and choosing Show Frames Per Second or FPS, and I can see that I'm only getting around 20, 21 frames per second. If your PC has a good RTX graphics board, you're going to be getting a much higher frames per second that this is showing. So in that case, you're not going to need the optimization tips that I'm sharing. If your frames per second is 30 or even higher, you're good to go. If you are seeing a low frames per second, here's what you can do. First, go to the Settings button in the upper right. Choose Engine Scalability Settings. And switch from Epic to Low. But before I leave, I want to improve the settings for two values, post-processing and shadows. This should give us a pretty good trade-off between performance and image quality. And you can see, now I'm getting about 30 frames a second. So that's all for the setup for now. In our next video, we'll take a look at installing our first scenery. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.